there's so many places. <laughs> but it won't. I hope not. No. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Well, when Jefferson Parish President John Young needed to hire a new general manager at the Alario Center, he didn't have to look too far. Yeah, the person he hired sat right outside of his office door. It's a personnel move that raises questions about patronage by a president who's been out in front in the push for ethics reform in Jefferson Parish. Is John Young practicing what he's been pushing? So you think this passes a smell test? Yeah. Jefferson Parish President John Young defends his decision to promote his secretary to a management position in his administration, even though her resume doesn't match the qualifications for the job. She wasn't put in there because she was my secretary. She was put in there because she can do the job. On May 17th of this year, Greg Guthrie, the general manager of the Alario Center, handed in his resignation. May 24th was his last day, and the next day, May 25th, Young promoted Lydia Fulce to be the new Alario Center general manager. Did you advertise the job? No, I did not. The sports management and, and, man, and facility management, I mean, it's a specialty field. So why wouldn't you at least see what else is out there? Again, I had to make a decision within less than a week. Why, 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 was it so, why did you have to make a decision so quickly? Because I wanted to get somebody over there. I want somebody to be our eyes and ears over there. I can put my pillow at night knowing that she's got integrity. Here's a look at Fulsa's resume. From 2004 to 2010, she served as John Young's council secretary. Her duties included scheduling, correspondence, and research. When Young became parish president, she became his executive assistant, another secretarial role. Previously, she worked in roles as administrative assistant for the DA's office in several clerk jobs. Foles has no four-year college degree, no management or facility experience, but Young still gave her the job. She had worked for me for since 1998, including my stint at the DA's office. Uh, she is very meticulous, very conscientious. She has leadership qualities. She used to write speeches, um, has good oral and, and uh, written communication skills. The parish council has somewhat vague minimum qualifications for the Alario Center general manager job. Parish charter reads the general manager shall be qualified by education, training, and prior administrative and or management experience. From her resume, it doesn't appear Fulsa's education, training, or experience would qualify her to run this facility. At the Pontchartrain Center in Kenner, the general manager there has a long resume. Before taking that job, she spent four years as the general manager of the Municipal Auditorium and Mahalia Jackson Theater. Before that, five years as GM of the Sanger. Prior to that, two years as GM of the Richmond Coliseum and a stint running the Jackie Gleason Theater in Florida. Again, Full spent 11 years as an administrative assistant for the Jefferson Parish DA in six years as Young's council secretary. She had talked to me when I first took office that she had wanted an opportunity to move up. And my position is we're always going to look for the best and brightest that we can find. Recently, Jefferson Parish posted an opening for an assistant Alario Center general manager to work directly under Lydia Fulce. To qualify for that job, the applicant must have a bachelor's degree, at least one year of work experience in marketing or operations, and their experience must include budget preparation and contract negotiations. So under the guidelines in Jefferson Parish, Lydia Foles couldn't qualify to be the assistant general manager of the Alario Center. But Young was still able to appoint her as general manager. You hire an assistant general manager with the qualifications for the assistant general manager or more than the general manager who's running the facility. Again, she's a general manager of the facility. At the end of the day, I'm the one where the buck stops. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the one who takes responsibility for that. In her five months on the job, Young says Fulce has already been impressive. She's taken uh, that job and, and, um, and really brought it to an another level. He says she negotiated a new lease with the Hornets and helped secure $1 million to fix the facility's roof. Senator John Alario has been very impressed with her. I welcome you to talk to Senator Alario if you want to get a different perspective. We did reach State Senator John Alario by phone. He told us so far the jury is still out on Lydia Fulce's overall performance, but he did say she does seem dedicated to the job. Fulce makes $53,000 a year as Alario Center General Manager. Records show that's a 34% increase from her salary as Young's council secretary. 
but the 53,000 is the low end of the pay scale the parish allows for that position. In a parish that recently has been criticized for patronage, we have questions about an appointment by a parish president who has been out in front pushing for reform. But John Young says he's confident in his selection of his former secretary to run a multi-million dollar facility. She can do the job. She has done the job. And she's done it in a superlative way. I also received a copy of a 1999 job description for the Alario Center general manager. That description lists minimum qualifications for the job to include a bachelor's degree in sports marketing or business administration and five years event promotion and large facility management experience. That plan, we're told, was recommended by a consultant but never adopted by Jefferson Parish. And I know you asked the question, but again, how is it that she couldn't qualify to be assistant general manager, mm -hmm. but she did get hired to be general manager? Why are the requirements so different? That's one of the big questions we had in the story. And basically, the, the, the general manager job, that title and requirements is, is approved by the council and then goes to the parish president at the time to make the hire. Um, it, it's questionable if she would even qualify for, for that. Uh, but the, the, other, the other jobs at the Alario Center uh, were told by parish president John Young that those uh, minimum requirements and job title and specifications, those are made by the personnel board, which is a, a part of Jefferson Parish government. So it's two different parts of the government that, that are making the different job descriptions. And that's why Olivia Foles could uh, probably qualify to be general manager, but not qualify to be uh, assistant general manager at the Alario Center. All right, it seems a little confusing. Yes. Okay. All right, well, Chris Rose said.